Hi guys, I just made a video how to install Arclix XL, XS and all the B ISOs 3726 and 3727 will be how to install Arclix D because it's a little bit different. The D ISO is um, documented here in the installation video and we need to make a new video to show you that um, we have a new possibility, System D or Grub. Grub used to be there for six years and System D is the new kit on the block. It's just a way, a fork in the way, where you say, I'm gonna use System D rather than Grub. More, it's not more, not, not, uh, well, <laughs> it's, it is what it is, right? It's not that important, but it's fun. So we clone and show you in no time, you'll have a Arclinx D ISO and you put it in your system. So 2024, January the 1st, we'll have release number four or maybe five or six, right? And it's the same explanation as the one with Excel in the sense that you either boot up on an old computer, which does not understand UFI, it will boot up in BIOS, you'll have a logo, you have three lines. UFI, newer computer, he'll get this and it says, ah, oh, look, there's a UFI. This one is for Intel AMD. This is for NVIDIA. It uses NVIDIA DKMS. So if your card is supported by those drivers, yay, right? Otherwise it's option three, save graphics, no more sets, and then you build the drivers that you need. On VirtualBox, it's this VMware, any virtual is good. QMU. So that's the beginning. Before this, of course, you may have downloaded the ISO, burn it with um, an app like Etcher, like Minstick, on a USB, that's actually a good working USB. And then you boot up, you put it in, you have to tell somehow to the motherboard, boot up with USB, and then this is what you get. And then of course you need to make more decisions. So something changed. And we need to, to tell people, look, when you start installing, there is one rule. Let's start from the top to bottom here. Use the easy installation, which in this case actually is the base installation, if the advanced installation fails, right? Easy installation is always offline and the advanced installation is always online. This works if everything works, if all the parameters are ideal then it will work but this one will always work so a base installation is the most difficult one because it, you end up in a black screen and it's up to you it's a basic arch linux setup but we use a graphical environment and, I, and it, it, the tool of calamar is to set it up but basically then you're on your own right you say sudo pacman minus s sdm Enable SEDM, install XFCE, install sound, install Bluetooth, everything needs to be installed. Which is great if you are a little bit further down the road of the university, right? Then everything will be okay if you don't start too soon with it. Arclinx University, it's a learning path. You can't just do a marathon without training. So you start with phases, go over this, try that, do this, do that. At some point, maybe you install the Arch Linux, the Arch way, or with Arch install. Maybe you start making your own distribution. It's all there, it's all possible, right? It's just time and voila. So, you either use the easy installation or the base installation in this case, and the advanced. If there are, normally, you don't have to do that, but let me show you some aliases. Normally this is a good three, four servers that are good for the world, worldwide fast response. But even so, if you notice that it's not fast enough to download, maybe you can check this. It will look for the best Arch Linux servers in your neighborhood. Secondly, maybe you wanna clean everything off, right? 
maybe there's a partition here, another partition here, an encryption there, or whatever. And then Calamari says, I don't get it. It might be a good idea to clean it up before. So select, 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 and then the waste basket and done. It's gone, right? It says so up here, she parted. Then the second choice. If you don't choose this, either of them, it's gonna be grub. In the other video that I've made, I have selected grub and then later on go to systemd boot. So really, it doesn't really matter. So you can forget it and still have systemd boot afterwards. But you can also decide on Calamaris, there it is. I want to try this new thing because this is new, right? That's why we make the new update video, the installation video. So I've in when clicking here, it is telling Calamaris, this one is gonna be with systemd boot. The advanced installation is the most interesting one if you already know what you're gonna select. We're gonna use this one. I'll make another video with base installation later. It's more complex. Here we choose your language. My advice, our advice, Google and DuckDuckGo with English terms will give you more results than in Finnish or Norwegian or anything else, right? So hence the idea keep everything in English and of course if you want Bluetooth support you just start clicking for instance these guys and then an application for instance that application and so on and so on you want to have sound maybe right sound you click sound there are two choices arch wiki pulse audio arch wiki pipe wire and you go read choose right if you're gonna go for tally winner manager i would use this one since there are keyboard key bindings and and code in there that supports pulse audio and then next somebody needs to greet you say hello to you so sdm is our default but you can choose something else and then you choose one of those long lists of desktops because adaclix d is minimal so if you don't select it, it's back to the black screen. So now we're telling already, we want sound, we want Bluetooth. Now we want a greeter, SDM, display manager. Then you log in and what's com what comes next? A desktop or a tiling window manager. So you decide what you take, for instance, DWM, next. In this case, we have also a Wayland possibility, but don't install Wayland on a virtual box. This is virtual box, right? only on real metal only on real metal don't mix these guys just the one you know this if you have articlinks b um, hyperlint and articlinks b sway right that's just the one don't start mixing things not x11 with wayland and not wayland with wayland it needs parameters next all kind of packages. I've explained those packages in the other video or for the XL, so have a look there. But basically these are all packages that are quite interesting, that you look up, that you learn and say, okay, let's try it. And in the XL ISO, we already made a selection of applications. Here you have to select every single thing that you need. One half, it's a bare ISO, right? Is what we select is what we get. There's nothing more. So you really need to say, I want to have a browser. There is no browser on Arduino D. You need to select everything. Okay, so you go and select everything, fine. And then choose where do you live, see if that's correct. You can always pin this here, say I'm living here, right? And then you have to play <laughs> to make sure that you're back in Brussels and so on. Or you select here change maybe things here if it's not correct and then we go to next this is one of the most important things right keyboard has to be right i need to have a zerti next erase disk swap no swap did not mention it in the other video i think i've made many installation videos the most important thing now is a system deboot option right that's new that's what i want to emphasize all the rest has been explained in other videos. So a little bit bigger, super big, so we can hibernate. 
swap to file small so it's just a file somewhere in here we've made EFI system bigger from 300 to 1000 I think All right and um, to accommodate the system D option so we have room enough XFS is back in the picture had problems with grub so hands out um, so we can try it out with XFS personally I would go for X4 and ButterFS one of these two guys and most of the time right if not all the time unless I'm testing the ISOs I'll take each one of them <laughs> but for a real metal machine something that I want to have maybe something like this next and then you tell your name maybe the computer name if you want to change it password exactly the same here login automatic without asking for, asking for password good for desktops maybe not so good for laptops so use the same password for the administrator account don't make your life more difficult than it needs to be same password fine and a thousand megabyte here install install now and off it goes so let's wait for the installation to complete and then re re reboot and then we're at the end restart now so if i click here it's gonna restart because of the tick there and that's c so this is your system d boot thing you can reboot into the firmware interface in virtual box you can do that too on real metal as well of course that's gonna be your motherboard and we don't want to see this this is software M, this is Arch Linux 3 tool and maybe you want to update the Arch Linux mirrors if they're not okay and mirror list these are the guys that are providing now the packages and if you do click the button there or just type RAM another way of doing things then you'll get a list a new list of um, servers so all is in here in alias uh, if you're wondering ram what's he talking about what is ram so there's rate mirrors allow root disable comments arch and so on protocol HTTPS. so this is the s stands for HTTPS, and that's how you learn how the distribution is working right take a look at control h bash or c we have Bezor C, we have um, ZF, ZSH, and we have FISH. If you install it, this is Arcolix D, the most minimal one, right? I always remember, this is for the Sherlock Holmes guys who need to figure out why is it not working? Because Arcolix B, DWM, it has this and this and this and that. I don't have that. Why? That's the Sherlock Holmes. This is building up, and the other one is already build up right the lego blocks have we have a, have a figure that's arclinks bdwm and the d is you decide what to install as icons as themes as bluetooth and so on as as anything so the system d boot is new you can check it out with boot so you know your own system boot kernel has also been added and kernels will also work in the same thing so if you install other kernels you can see a list here of the kernels installed we have these things in the aliases called sddm to sddm to lightdm those are the display managers we have made something similar to grub so even though i've decided system deboot is going to be my thing i said nah I really like this grub thing because you have this this nice wallpaper there this design and in the arch Linux tweak tool you can change it you can change the wallpaper design and make it your own this thing you can change that right not in system d boot it's just gonna be black but black can be beautiful as well right it's just what you like minimalism or more colors so there you are yeah we're back on boot back on grub now nah, maybe right 
you, you know the message. <laughs> Maybe I just go back to boot, system D boot. In short, boot. So it's checking. And then we sudo reboot or reboot. And here we have the options. This one. Because we ran the script, there's now also a fallback I see. Calamaris, and then later on, running machine. Applications doing its thing. And we have, again, boot. And everything is working again. So that's the choice. That's the, why the video has been made. There is this option. System boot, deboot, or drop. You decide. Alright. Cheers.